Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Let's take a look around the Whale Cave. But before doing that, we got these two dolphins that are back here now. Well, what'd you do with that old guy? You just drown him or something? Oh, maybe, yeah, I would like to get out of here. So, if you don't have Nina in your party, yeah, you can just talk to these guys to get out of here. But I do want to take a look around and see if we can solve this whale's narcolepsy problems. Is that the right term? For someone who can't wake up or something or falls asleep a lot. Hmm, that didn't do anything. Remember that for later, viewers. Okay, here we got a few new enemies here. Let's see, shotgun heads. These guys can be a bit annoying because they have the revitalize spell. At least I think that's what the healing spell is called. Well, whichever one it is. Yeah, they can cast that. We also got the hermit squid in the back there. And they have quite a bit of defense, so I probably want to take them out first. Let me see. Okay, that guy is weak to fire. And I did equip the flame sword back on Ryu instead of the buster sword because there are quite a few enemies here that well, are weak to fire. And let's see, for Nina, yeah, let's just go with the fire ring for now. Let's see, shotgun heads do not have any elemental weakness. Despite looking like they are flying, they are not considered flying type enemies. So, yeah, tornado, that's not really gonna do any more damage than anything else we got here but otherwise it's these guys are pretty straightforward there are a couple anno rather annoying enemies in the dungeon and that's what they're part of the reason why I brought Nina along but we'll get to them soon enough you were soon enough this dungeon is pretty straightforward and it's a pretty good place to bring Bosch up to speed there. And by the way, in the previous episode, I misspoke about why Bosch levels up so quickly. It's not really because of Bosch himself, specifically, but it's because the game has a sort of a rubber band mechanic where if a character is b behind on levels compared to Ryu, they will get increased experience depending on how far behind they are. So that can help you get characters back at the speed more quickly. Okay, we got a new enemy. That's one of the ones that I was really worried about. Scissor Hermits. They can cast Freeze on you. It deals guaranteed 100 damage to you. And the only way you can deal with it is by killing them first. So let's see what I can do here. Fortunately, they are weak to Thunder. And they are very slow. Slow enough for Nina to be able to get in her lightning spell before they can get their turn. And they are pretty much the reason why I'm bringing Nina along instead of Sten. Yeah, I tried going through this dungeon with Sten, and I mean, it can be done without Nina, but Nina makes it a lot more consistent to be able to deal with the enemies. Let's see, did we... Oh, we didn't take any hits. Okay. Yeah, I mean, only Ryu has the HP to survive a freeze spell, and he'd have to be at max all the time to do that. Maybe Rand could do that if I leveled him up. Or Topeta. I'll be leveling up Rand soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. An Iron Band that I don't really care about, but it's there. There's a couple treasures in this room. And a couple... Well, okay, one new enemy, but a couple of one new enemy. Land Lizard. These guys can be a bit of a problem because they can cast the attack up spell and it is a lot better than it was in the first game. So what I want to do, let's see, let's go with Blunt on the other one that I'm not targeting. These guys do not have any elemental weaknesses. The only thing I'm just worried about with these guys is their attack up spell or, well, might in this translation. 
Fortunately, these guys have no magic resistance at all. Actually, most of the enemies around here have no magic resistance. So your debuffs will go through every single time. One thing you might want to watch out for here, though, is with Bosch and Nina, you want to try and keep their HP up so that way they don't lose their shamans if they go down to critical HP or below 25% of their maximum. Okay, but you still want to keep Lin alive here. Yeah, it's just too bad that I have to bring her along because you need her at the end of the dungeon. So, yeah, I can't really have a real tank here, unfortunately. Let's see, the other treasure's on the left side. And there are some other new enemies on the left side here. Okay, Hustler, these guys... They can cast the Lightning Spell, so I want to try and take them out pretty quickly. They got really high agility. I don't think even Lin will be able to get her turns in before they do. They don't have any elemental weakness. Let's see, do I have a debuff that might help kill them more quickly? Hmm, maybe weaken. Or slow. Yes, yeah, let's go with slow, so that way I can kill the second one before they can get their turn. Just don't cast lightning, please. Thank you. <laughs> wow. That's some crit there. You can't even deal more than two damage with a crit to Lin. That is sad. Let's see. Yeah, their attack stat is one. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, we'll just go all out. We'll kill the guy before he gets the next turn. So, all right. Wow, I'm getting all the new enemies here today. I think there's just one more new enemy I can meet up with around here. Well, that makes editing a lot easier for me. No, there might be two new enemies left, I think. Yeah, another reason I like to bring Nina along is because, like I was saying, the enemies don't have a lot of magic resistances here, so she can put her debuffs to great effect here. Okay, here's another new enemy, Earthshaker. Let's see, these guys can cast the 8.0 spell. Just like the first game, it's an Earth Elemental spell that deals a lot of, well, maybe not a lot of damage, but damage to all your party members. So, let's see, this guy is not too fast. Hmm. But he does have quite a bit of HP. So... And he's weak to fire! Hmm. Okay, I was gonna... Use a debuff on him, but you know, I could probably kill him before well, maybe not before he gets a turn, but soon. Yeah, I'm using up a lot of Bosch's AP to keep ourselves healed for now, but if it comes down to it, I could have Ryu join in or use a whole bunch of healing herbs. Let's see. Yeah, I'm only gonna hold on to like a stack of of healing items at a time. I don't think we need multiple stacks of them anymore. Especially once we get some levels for Bosch and he has the AP to cast healing more often. Okay, now remember this spot for later because I'm going to be coming back here off screen after taking this lengthy branching path to get a treasure up here. And by the way, the healing spell I was thinking of was Rejuvenate, not Revitalize. I get them mixed up all the time. And that's what happens when you don't label them Cure 1, Cure 2, Cure 3, and all that. Although it should be Heal, not Cure. But... Oh, hey, hey. A little bit of a... I think that's one of the stat boosting items, if I recall correctly. Which one is it? Hey, all right. Hmm. You know, I'm going to give that to Bosh. He's going to be a powerhouse later on. So the more strength I can give to him, the better. Although it's a relatively minor stat gain. So in the long run, it probably doesn't really matter. So, okay. I'll meet you back by the intersection there then. Okay, we're back. And one thing I wanted to point out uh, that I misspoke earlier again <laughs> uh, those 
what are they, Hustler enemies? They can cast Valhalla, not the lightning spell. I have a mistake in my notes here. But they don't have the AP to ca cast it, so... Yeah, they really... They really can't do anything to us, can they? Hmm. This, that does seem kind of weird, but... Okay, whatever. So, yeah, don't worry about it. I think Valhalla is like the tier 3 lightning spell or something. Well, let's continue onward, then. But yeah, that spell would really kick my ass at this point in the game, if they could cast it. Holy cow. Game? And having those fire elemental weapons really helps out a lot here. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I have no problem using the gold bar trick. Hmm, looks like there's something there. Ha-ha! Yeah, clear that artery passage. Now, that would be useful if I didn't use the gold brick cooking, but I did. Oh, well. Okay, well, we've been gaining some levels for Bosch here now, and wow, he already has more HP than the much higher leveled Lin and Nina. That is sad. That's part of the reason why I don't use them long term. I mean, Bosch isn't a tank, but he's not a glass cannon either. Let me see, how are you doing there? Oh, your condition. Whoa, what happened to our condition here? Okay, I will use some turbocharges on those two, as long as Ryu and Nina are okay by the time we get to the end here. And by the way, as far as Bosch's speed, or vigor, stat, this will... He, he will get faster than Nina, eventually. It's just that right now, he's underleveled, so he's a bit slower at this point. By the way, against those shotgun head enemies, another thing you could do to make them a little easier is cast Weaken on them, because they do have quite a bit of physical defense there. Oh, did... Oh, okay. That thing wasn't pulsating in a creepy manner. I was confused. But yeah, you could use Weaken to take care of their high defense. Hmm, it seems those Hustler enemies can cast Inferno, too. But they don't have the AP to cast that either, so... Yeah, I don't know. It seems my source of information was very incomplete against that enemy. Not that it really mattered, but it was there. Okay, so now we want to make some changes here. If you got holy elemental weapons, you want to put them to use here. Let's see, if you don't have the Black Helm, go for a Night Helm. I definitely want to equip a Dream Jewel on everyone. That'll really help out coming up here. And... Let's see, if you've got, well, basically any elemental weapons other than holy, you want to equip non-elemental weapons if you don't have a holy elemental weapon for them. Yeah, Topeto would actually be pretty good coming up here. But that's about one of the very few times he would be useful. <laughs> so get the Copper Patan going, I don't care about your weapon, but I do care about getting a Dream Jewel on everyone. Okay, how are we doing with Condition? Okay, well, looks like I brought the perfect amount of turbocharges there. And too bad they make you use separate stacks for all that stuff. Okay, who needs healing? Ryu? Okay, hmm. Oh, we learned Rejuvenate for Ryu. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Nice. Not that I'm going to use it. Okay, let's go for Wisdom... Seed, and then I'll just use a healing. Er, actually, you know, I got Bosh. He can do the healing. Let's not waste our consumable herbs. And I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's see what that... What were they saying this thing was? Like a statue or something? Okay, there it is. Oh, well, you're about to. How much suffering could there possibly be? What's with all the lightning?
Ah, I thought you were sleeping. Ah, nuts. Hmm? Oh, we just want to wake up the whale here. Sleep, damn you! For boss time! Against Munmar? I think his name is? I don't know what that means, but... Okay, so let's see. This guy is a spirit type enemy, so they are weak to holy and strong against everything else. Fortunately, in this case, one of the few times where it's fortunate, the dragon spells are non-elemental. So I don't have to worry about that too much. This guy is immune to every status, I think. Hmm. I'll go for one lightning spell, but I'll just leave it at that. So yeah, um, since it's a spirit type enemy, he's strong against all other elemental attacks besides holy. But I don't really have anything better for Nina to do, so we might as well just have her do her thing. But I want to keep enough AP to get out of here. Fortunately, this guy also doesn't have a whole lot of HP. Hmm... I wonder if my regular attack would deal more damage. Probably not, but let's check it out. Why not? Ow! Man, it looks like Lin's the only one who can heal Bosch in time. Hmm. Or we could just kill the boss. That works too. Hooray! So yeah, that attack you saw him use that hit my entire party, that would have put you to sleep if you didn't have dream jewels. So, yeah, that makes life much more convenient. It feels good to die? I would think dying hurts. A lot. I don't plan on doing that today. Or ever, for that matter. Hey, hey, all right. Oh. Huh, that's weird. But we took care of the source of the problem. Well, fortunately, yeah, the exit spell actually works in a dungeon. What a concept. But how can we wake up the whale if defeating the statue there didn't do the trick? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.